I think I can finally make the Magic Mouse comfortable with this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You might have the Apple Magic Mouse. You probably can't even see the logo on there. There she is. But I'm not sure who this mouse is comfortable for. It is really flat. It's nice looking. It looks cool. But it is a total function follows form. Because I feel like they designed it to look great. You've got to have really small hands or something. I mean, to grab it on the sides is kind of awkward because it's kind of thin. And what I find here is that my hand floats above this and it kind of cramps up because you're trying to move it with these fingers as opposed to using the palm of your hand like many of the bulbous mice out there. While it's a great mouse because it integrates nicely with Apple, it is not that comfortable. But I picked up this. This is by Melo, and it's a silicon cushion. And while I will admit that I think this is going to make the Apple Magic Mouse look ridiculous, it's probably going to make it really, really comfortable. And pull out the Melo. And what you can see is it's kind of a little bit of this off-white silicone hump. It's hollow. It's pretty thick, though. I mean... It's kind of like an implant for a very small person. But you can see how it will follow the shape of the mouse. I think this would go towards the back, so it'll cover up the logo right there. It has a little bit of a flat edge and then a rounded tapered edge, and that tapered edge will go right on the bottom, it looks like. That's how it's going to fit. And then what it's going to do is it's going to give us a pretty sizable hump. I mean, that's a two or 300% increase in height on the mouse. Goes right up to the edge right there, kind of maybe 55% of the mouse will be covered, it looks like, but what that's going to do is when I am using the sucker, now my hand is going to be right up at the top and my palm can move the mouse while my fingers do the clicking. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna clean this up with a rag here, make sure that there aren't any oils or anything on it. I am gonna remove the 3M sticky tape on this side and just put it on and then we'll try it out. Right, I have been using this mouse with this little comfort hump for a while here and I just absolutely love it. It fits so much better in my hand. It's white, so it kind of blends in with the mouse a little bit. It doesn't scream as an aftermarket accessory aside from the size here. Now, if you have the dark gray Magic Mouse, it's probably gonna stick out a little bit more, but man, because it's silicone and it gives, it feels soft, it's very light, and everything about this just makes the whole thing more ergonomic. Like, I don't have to squeeze my outer fingers together to guide this thing. Honestly, I can just do it with my hand here, and then the my clicking fingers are right where I need them to be, so. I will tell you that I should have bought this thing a long, long time ago. But you do not have to be dumb like me. You can get it right now. It's only a few bucks. It sticks on there. Because the Magic Mouse top, I think, is glass, when you want to remove this, you know, to sell it or to go back to the old style, I think you can just remove this, use a little cleaner to remove any sticky residue that might be on there. So it's not permanent, but it has not come off. It's certainly not wiggling or getting loose or anything like that for me. So it feels like a permanent installation, and I absolutely love it. Should have gotten it much much sooner if you want to pick up this little ergo hump for your magic mouse i'll put a link to it in the description below peter von panda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever thanks to peter peter von panda um.